See, I haven't done this in a long time, so I'm really, really out of practice. So I just would was then. Yeah, suddenly I feel so self-conscious all over again. So yes. Why is this so hard to do this time? Hey guys, it's Rebecca. So I haven't vlogged in a really long time. Like a long time. I think the last upload must have been my Japan vlog, which I'm doing part two. I've just kind of finished putting it together, so I'll probably upload that on Thursday, so check on back. Maybe it doesn't matter that I haven't vlogged in a long time. I really do want to get back into it. I think there was a point where I just felt a little weird about posting it on my other social media because I am a professional artist and I still have a lot of like paranoid feelings about being taken seriously and I really want the vlogs to be more of like a personal like fun place to come and talk and like show you toys and it's just something for me to like decompress and it was becoming like stressful and yeah I was feeling a little weird about that. Yeah, I don't even know what to talk about. I just got back from the post office. I think I once did a vlog about coming from the post office, but this time was like equally frustrating. Cause like, so our post office, like I think I ran about this once before, but our post office, there's always a line. Literally it's wrapping around the entire building and it goes really slow. Like I spent 45, 50 minutes just standing in line. This time it was like extra frustrating because there was a guy at the front pontificating about religion, about women being made and like this some woman's image, I'm assuming it's some god or like maybe it's like Eve or something. I have no idea. And to have that in sort of a government building was really frustrating because I actually was like tweeting at the post office. It's like my first like public you should do better service. I have so many things about this post office. Like I've seen people be rude, uh, just sort of like discriminatory. I've seen them like not be able to find my package and look at me like it's my fault. Like it's not my fault. I have this, it's right there. It's right, it's, it's there, it's in there. You just don't know how to organize your system or something. So scary religious man. And he was at the front of the line and I was getting really nervous because at some point, once I got up to him, I would just be standing in, like, in front of him for like 15 minutes. Luckily, he did leave, so thank goodness. <laughs> I don't know, I was so frustrating. Also, it was like rainy, so everyone's like, and it's like everyone's in their coats and sweating. So some guy was watching Pirates of the Caribbean behind me. He probably watched the whole movie by the time he got up to the front of that line. If you guys want to, I'll just open my package since you're here. Um, I'm really excited about it. Uh, maybe this should just be a segment. It's like I open my mail. I've actually ordered a lot of cool stuff recently in the mail that I'm really excited about, which I will show you. <laughs> Yeah, this is something I ordered all the way back in December. Like, my whole thing was like, I really wanted a record player, which you'll see right there. And then I went crazy and used like all of the birthday and all the, all the lovely gift money that I got from my family to buy some records. And this is actually the record that I'm most excited about. I guess I kind of gave it away what it is. It's a record. I hope it's, actually, I hope it's the right record. I don't even remember. I like just went through and ordered a bunch of stuff because I really wanted to buy vinyl versions of all the music that had some sort of emotional resonance with me, like got me through a hard time. Ooh, I wonder if, no, I don't think I ordered that one. I should have gotten the Nicki Minaj album Pink Friday because that that got me through some tough times in college. Uh, yeah. yeah, this is the one I thought it was. So this is another like album that has a lot of like, it reminds me of camping with my family. Jenny Lewis and the Watson Twins. Mm -hmm. Rabbit fur coat. They're, it's like the, I think it's like the 20th anniversary? 10 year anniversary, okay good. That'd be weird. But uh, I, don't, I was not, I did not have this as a kid. 20 years ago, that'd be, that'd be six years old. I'd be like a really self-aware six year old if I was listening to this at six years old. Yeah, it's their 10th anniversary. They've actually been going on tour. I just didn't plug into that and didn't realize it and missed the whole tour, but they I think they were just here in New York. I saw some people Instagramming about it and I felt terrible, but then I just felt good that they were like in the city near me. 
I just love it. This whole album is so good. It's just it's fun. I love vlogging. This is really fun. You just get to like talk about things you like. Um, have any of you started new vlogs? You can let me know. Hey, I like it. I just like hearing people talk about their lives a lot. Anyway, I originally found this album, I think I must have been in eighth grade? Maybe ninth grade? Probably ninth grade. I feel like that's more like first year of high school thing. And so I'd always go to the library and I'd check out a bunch of CDs and burn them because that's how you got your music when you didn't have any money. It's back when you had like CDs. <laughs> CDs. Well, and this is one of the albums that I found and so, so taken with so much glare. Just so taken with it. It's like very, mm, like that. Um, it kind of has this like up in the mountains logging town vibe and it's all about like fallen women and relationships and being loved and like how like love is sort of terrible and like ruins you and you know it's and it's just like such a bizarre concept the whole thing is just like look at this back it's like these are the watson twins there's something like supernatural about these like this like female trio i don't know i feel like they like rose out of a lake or something and, and made this like wonderful music so i'll link down to one of my favorite songs rabbit for coat it was like here. I don't remember how videos work anymore. Yeah, so I'm super stoked about that. I actually almost forgot to show you the coolest part of the record, which is the record itself. So let's look at the insides, which is the most interesting part. I don't know why I totally forgot that, that I should show you that. Okay. So the inside comes with this stuff. This is the art book. The I'm really enjoying like records as like pieces of artwork like I kind of like them almost better than zines or something because you have the music and then like I got the new Grimes album and it came with like a bunch of her original drawing not original drawings but like illustrations she had drawn she put in it and I like seeing like it's like an opportunity to see sort of other parts of the artist if they do sort of like draw or do something else but okay the really sexy thing about this album Check this out. This is the thing is like it's it's sort of like folky music, but there's always this like look at this. It's red, blood red. Yeah. Super red. I don't know how I did that. It's just sort of beautiful, right? See that's like I like these little like this bits of plastic on it. It's weird. You can be freshly carved. I don't know how you I guess you carve it. To the groups. I don't understand the science behind records, actually. I know that there are grooves and the needle goes around the grooves. Um, but how does that work? Who invented that? Inventions are crazy that people just make things that actually work. Do you ever just think about that? Do you ever just, do you ever just like think about like how a record works? Like the fact that you could carve sound into an object it blows my mind still. I love it. I love it science man it's fuck it's so good okay back I'm trying to think of what else happened recently besides being frustrated oh i just dyed my hair that's a new thing i did that yesterday last night i got to dye my friend april's hair two days ago and then when we were like going looking for dyes i was like hey, i'll need some dye too and i was like see but i didn't want to like I also thought bleach, but I was like, I don't really want to bleach my hair. I feel really weird about that. So I was like, okay, I'm just gonna like curl the ends and see what sticks. And I didn't, I just kind of was like, oh, like my hair is not dyed. It's not bleached, like it's not gonna take the dye. It's gonna be like a tint. So I just like put it all over my head. And lo and behold, this stuff is potent. It's, um, yeah, I felt like it made me feel a lot better. It's weird, like I haven't been in like a very like pink, be cutesy mood whatsoever lately. Um, I just felt like a bramble. I was really into like, just like all black bramble lady. Um, but I think maybe like the, you know, it's been like winter. Who knows, it'll probably wash out in a few days, but I like it. I see like pink out of the periphery of my, my vision. And it's like, um, it's fun. I don't know, it, make, it makes me happy. I hope we have a coffee. My roommate just made some of this coffee. She's very lovely. She makes me coffee all the time. She also bakes. I'm very blessed <laughs> to live where I live. 
It's Herzog, so there's like this whole part about just this wayward penguin that's just like walking into the abyss and no one on this like research section. Text. Actually, it's not a text. You know what it is? It's this bullshit alert that you get from Twitter about what other people are doing. And I'm like, shut up, I'm trying, I'm trying to live my own life. Don't tell me about what other people are doing online. Don't tell me about other people sitting around liking each other's stuff. Don't do it. That's, if you know how to turn that off, comment. Let a girl know. Like so and so and so and so and so and so like the picture. Why aren't you liking the picture? And I'm like, I, I don't know. I'm, I, I don't know. I don't want to be there. It's, leave me alone. Yeah, so if you want to come back for more rambling coffee breaks with me, come on in. Yeah, thank you so much, you guys. It was really great talking to you. Check back every Tuesdays for sure, and then Thursdays for extra credit if I ever get anything up. Maybe once I get going, this will be easier. Okay. Okay, this is good. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.